Milton Keynes dead quite on the 12th of April 2020 due to responsible citizens and heroes who listen to government advice except for most people out for daily exercise. The more we keep on staying in and doing our bit the quicker it will be over. The longer out the longer in, Milton Keynes. The longer we stay out the longer we stay in. London has the most people out in groups and meeting up and unlawfully risking lives. Police now have new emergency powers to disperse crowds and gatherings under the Coronavirus Act 2020, and they may also fine you £30, UK. Use this after this. Video Viva on Twitter after nurse has a go at teens out together drinking during pandemic. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, be a hero. Breaking news. What are some of the biggest issues about going outside? You may give it to other people. You may stop the NHS being able to deal with it. The longer you stay out, the longer you stay in. Because if you go out when you're not supposed to, this in turn could relate to having to stay in longer because it'd be so dangerous to the point where we can't go out anymore. People may be fined 30 pounds in the UK for going out when they are not allowed to. Violence and domestic abuse increasing dramatically in homes, breaking news. Child abuse online, sickening child abuse, gradually getting worse. As more children are online, especially sites like Instagram, where it is a big problem already and it doesn't need to be any bigger. This should not be going on and abusers will find themselves out of the home, not the receivers. Breaking news, domestic abuse is the biggest factor of coronavirus. Anyone suffering from domestic abuse will be able to leave the house to get help and the police must turn up as normal or they are violating your rights as the receiver of abuse. You can phone 999. If you can't speak, dial 555 on the keypad when you've dialed 999. If you can't talk for any emergency. Child abuse online is going to be a big problem and it already is. Lots of young people, vulnerable young people, groomed, attempted grooming of non-vulnerable children. And domestic abuse is going to carry on, but it's going to be a lot more as the partner is at home with them all the time. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. People can be fined £30 for unlawfully going into public places under the Coronavirus Act 2020. Stay home, be a hero, save lives. Staying at home, if you think you have coronavirus symptoms, self-isolate. Staying at home and away from others, social distancing. Staying at home, what you can and cannot do. Staying at home leaflet from the government. Look on gov.uk for how to prevent extremely vulnerable people getting it. Shield, shielding. Contact a GP and order repeat subscriptions online. Guidance on pregnancy and coronavirus on the NHS.UK. Support for victims of domestic violence. Find out what you can do if you're struggling because of coronavirus on who.int or childline.org if you're under 18. As it is a new virus, the lack of immunity in the population and the absence as yet of an effective vaccine means that COVID-19 has a potential potential to spread extensively. The current data seem to show that we are all susceptible to catching this disease. How many cases are in the UK? 88,621 confirmed cases. Deaths, 11,329. Worldwide, 1,864,629 confirmed cases. Recovered, 440,922. Deaths, 
115,286. Breaking news. Only go out for food, health reasons or work, but only if you cannot work from home. If you go out, stay two metres, six feet away from others, other people at all times. Wash your hands as soon as you get home. Do not meet others, even friends or family. You can spread the virus even if you don't have symptoms. Stay at home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. Be a hero. has recorded 737 new coronavirus related hospital deaths taking the total number to 10,612 patients. It comes after one of the government's senior scientific advisers that the UK was likely to be among the worst affected European countries. Health Secretary Matt Hancock said today marks a sombre day but welcomed the efforts people have made to stay at home. The number of reported deaths does not include deaths outside of hospitals. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson thanked healthcare workers for saving his life after being discharged from hospital. Mr Hancock told the Daily Briefing, Today marks a sombre day in the impact of this disease. As we join a list of countries who have seen more than 10,000 deaths related to coronavirus, the fact that over 10,000 people have now lost their lives to this invincible killer demonstrates just how serious this coronavirus is and why the national effort that everyone is engaged in is so important. The UK is the fifth country to surpass 10,000 deaths, joining the US, Spain, Italy and France. Earlier, Sir Jeremy Farrar, a member of the Government Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies, SAGE, says the UK was likely to be one of the worst if not the worst affected country in Europe. In comparison, he says the remarkable scale of testing in Germany had been key to keeping the number of hospital admissions for coronavirus lower than in the UK. Undoubtedly, there are lessons to le learn from that, he said. Responding to Sir Jeremy's comments, the health secretary said the future of this virus is unknowable as yet because it depends on the behaviour of millions of people and the great British public. Mr Hancock added that the government took advice from experts very seriously. Public Health England Medical Director Professor Yvonne Doyle said the number of people in hospital with coronavirus in London was stabilising, but it was increasing in North West England, Yorkshire and North East England. Speaking about the loved ones of those who have died, Mr Hancock said, their grief is our grief and their stories will not be forgotten. Janice Graham, 58, was the first NHS worker in Scotland to die from coronavirus. The Health Secretary also congratulated the British public for rising to this challenge of staying at home. Your steadfast commitment to following the social distancing rules is making a difference. He added, ministers are continuing to urge people to stay at home over the Easter weekend to curb the spread of coronavirus, despite warm and sunny weather across parts of the UK. Today's fall in the number of newly injured, we might have seen more than 2,500 deaths announced today that. The Health Secretary also congratulated the British public for rising to this challenge of staying at home. Your steadfast commitment to following these social distancing rules is making a difference, he added ministers are continuing to urge people to stay at home over the Easter weekend to curb the spread of the virus despite warm and sunny weather across parts of the UK. Today's fall in the number of newly announced deaths of people with coronavirus is of little comfort as we pass the tragic milestone of 10,000. And we know that the true death toll to date is higher. This figure doesn't include people who have died with coronavirus, but those who death whose death had not been reported yet to the Department for Health, Public Health England, but it could have been worse. Up until last weekend, this figure was doubling every three and a half days. Had that confirm, continued, we might have seen more than 2,500 deaths announced today. That growth has not happened. Today's fall could be attributed to less reporting of deaths over a bank holiday 
even if we not, have not turned the corner, the number of deaths announced to each day has held below 1,000 throughout the week. That is still a terrifying figure, but the slowdown in the growth of new cases of people hospitalised with coronavirus and in deaths all add to the evidence that the lockdown is working. As it is a new virus, the lack of immunity in the population and the absence as yet of an effective vaccine means that COVID-19 has the potential to spread extensively. The current data seem to show that we are all suspect susceptible to catching this virus. The Health Secretary also announced plans for an NHS app that will warn users if they have recently been in close proximity to someone suspected of having been infected by the coronavirus. Mr Hancock also addressed ongoing criticism over the lack of personal protection equipment, PPE in short terms, for NHS staff. He denied that the government had been too slow to stockpile PPE, personal protective equipment, and said supplies had been significant significant but I acknowledged there was always more to be done they weren't there were now rec record amounts in the system he added mr hancock said there was more than spare capacity for critical care than there was when coronavirus first hit our sh shores as of sunday there were 2295 spare critical care beds across great britain up by 150 from Saturday, he said, in other developments. Parliament might be able to return virtually on 21st of April. To debate coronavirus measures, authorise spending and make laws, more money needs to go uh, faster to business businesses applying for emergency loans. The government has admitted a close-knit care home near Bristol has lost a signif significant number of its residents to COVID-19. Some key medicines used in intensive care are in re relatively short supply. The BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, understands children in Edinburgh have been coming up with uh, ingenious ways to keep the tradition of rolling Easter eggs. The US has now overtaken Italy to have the highest death toll from coronavirus in the world. What should you do if you suspect you've got coronavirus? Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. If you can stay home, stay home. As domestic abuse is so common during COVID-19, here is an audio of what to do. Take a listen. Here is some advice for domestic abuse. You should not have to go through this. Don't hesitate to call 999 and if you can't talk press 555 and the operator will know you can't talk i.e. for for your own safety. Visit gov.uk or cps.gov.uk Topic Domestic Abuse Coronavirus Email locumpnews at gmail.com if you want to explain your situation or have it uploaded to our news service or use hashtag gov.uk you should not go to school, except for those of key workers. I've had a question emailed to me asking, can I check my nine-year-old daughter's phone because I suspect she's in danger and is being cyber abused because she keeps talking about this boy she's met online and she's gone to me. The answer to this question from MK Local News and Awareness UK3 is absolutely yes, 100% especially as she's under 10 and she's in a um, multi-vulnerable group and she's not even criminally responsible as of yet. So I would check, check her phone straight away and no recognitions, no exceptions must be dealt with immediately because this is a child abuse safety concern and you must do it. So yes, the answer is yes. Moving on from that, sickening child abuse and domestic abuse in homes drastically increasing and this needs to be stopped ASAP. You may receive a £30 fine for going out. If you are being abused or know someone who's being abused, always phone 999 and do not hesitate to do this. Or if you suspect child abuse, phone 999 as well immediately, cyber or physical. Do it now because it is an immediate threat to safety. 
and it is sickening and it needs to be dealt with straight up simply. Your questions answered. Please email localmknews at gmail.com. Three, breaking news. This is a serious pandemic globally and we must take drastic action to prevent abuse and make it as nice as we can and prevent illegal activity and we must not go out. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, be a hero. You can do it, I know you can, so do it. Because you who do not stay in are very ignorant and you don't care about anyone but yourself. Abusers and paedophiles and cyber bullies, you are sickening and we're going to get you catched by police. This is not on. Abuse will not be tolerated in any form or illegal activity. And if you do not stay in, you will receive a £30 fine or may even be arrested for doing so. And if you do not pay your fine, you will be going to magistrate's court. Hear about domestic abuse or child abuse. For anyone who feels they are at risk of abuse, it is important to remember that there is help and support available to you, including police response, online support, helplines, refugees and other services. You are not alone. Always remember this. The household isolation instruction as a result of COVID-19 does not apply. If you need to leave your home to escape domestic abuse, you must do so. The government support from gov.uk here is measures announced over recent weeks to tackle coronavirus. COVID-19 have seen people's day-to-day -day lives drastically altered. These changes are essential to beat coronavirus and protect our NHS. The government acknowledges that the order to stay home can cause anxiety for those who are experiencing or feel at risk of domestic abuse. There is never an excuse for domestic abuse, no matter what the circumstances are, or child abuse. For anyone who feels they are at risk of abuse, it is important to remember that there is help and support available to you, including police response, online support, helplines, refugees and other services. You are not alone. Always remember this. The household isolation instruction as a result of COVID-19 does not apply. If you need to leave your home to escape domestic abuse, you must do so. The government supports and funds several charities who can provide advice and guidance and we are in regular contact with the charity sector and the police to ensure that these support services remain open during its challenging time. What is domestic abuse? Domestic abuse is not always physical violence, as it can include, but it's not limited to, limited to coercive control and gaslighting, economic abuse online abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse and sexual abuse and cyber abuse. Where to get help? If you believe you are being abused or worried, you may commit domestic abuse or you worried you may commit this domestic abuse. Read our detailed guidance at gov.uk. How to get help? HTTPS www.gov.uk slash guidance slash domestic underline abuse underline how underline to get help which includes contact information for organizations and services which offer support and advice if you are in immediate danger call 999 and ask for the police the police will continue to respond to emergency calls or may find themselves in legal trouble and may be sued if you suspect that your neighbors or those in your community are victims of domestic abuse we encourage you to report it to the police, including myself, at MK Local News and Awareness UK3. If you are in danger and unable to talk on the phone, dial 999 and listen to the questions from the operator and respond by coughing or tapping the handset if you can, or dial 55 or 555. If you call 999 from a mobile, if prompted, press 55 to make yourself heard. HTTPS slash slash www policeconduct.gov.uk This will transfer your call to the police Get Help which includes contact information for organisations and services which offer support and advice If you are in immediate danger call 999 and ask for the police The police will continue to respond to emergency calls 
or may find themselves in legal trouble and may be sued. If you suspect that your neighbours or those in your community are victims of domestic abuse, we encourage you to report it to the police, including myself at MK Local News and Awareness UK3. If you are in danger and unable to talk on the phone, dial 999 and listen to the questions from the operator and respond by coughing or tapping the handset if you can, or dial 55 five or 555. Five five. If you call 999 from a mobile, if prompted, press 55 five to make yourself heard. HTTPS slash slash www.policeconduct.gov.uk This will transfer your call to the police. Domestic abuse is not going to carry on and police will crack down on it. If you are being abused, phone 999 or if you know a child that's been abused online or physically. Any abuse or illegal activity or leaving your house unlawfully except for one form of exercise a day and your daily shop will not be allowed. And you must not do your daily shop except for essential items, not a package of sweets that your child's kicking off at you for. Because you may get yourself fined and you are very irresponsible, so do not go out. Dwayne Hards at MK Local News and Awareness UK3. That's it for this evening. Goodbye. <laughs>
Protect the NHS. Save lives. Stay, protect, save. MK Local News and Awareness UK Free, Dwayne H. Stay home, protect our NHS. So what do you have to say, Ruggles Hards? Stay, protect, save. Stay home, be a hero. New emergency legislation is being introduced to the UK. On the UK police website, there is a system that lets you report violations of the Coronavirus Act 2020. Save lives, protect the NHS, be a hero. Thank you, NHS, heroes and key workers. Our NHS staff on the front line face daily abuse. We must work together to stop this abuse. Racial discrimination is a huge issue. Hashtag no racism. Stay, protect, save. If you see someone or suspect they're breaking the Coronavirus Act 2020, report them on the police website. You may still leave the house to get emergency support, i.e. domestic abuse. Goodbye.